Consolidation Accounting, part number two. We're covering ASC 810. If you did not watch part number one, I highly recommend pausing this video. Go watch part number one, then come back to part two. So part two, we're going to go through a simple example of combining a parent, ABC Incorporated, and a subsidiary, XYZ LLC, in this scenario. And when we combine them, they're going to be one economic entity reflected in consolidated financial statements. But to get there, we need to eliminate the inner company activity. This is activity that is happening between ABC Incorporated and XYZ LLC, meaning we need to eliminate the inner company receivable and we need to eliminate the inner company payable, the due to and the due from these entities because when we consolidate them into one economic entity, there is no due to and there is no due from, they're one unit. And the reason you have an intercompany receivable and an intercompany payable is these entities are transacting with each other, whether they're selling items to each other, whether one's a paymaster and funding payroll, you just need to eliminate that activity. Now let's flip over to the income statement where we're going to eliminate the intercompany sales or intercompany expenses related to ABC Inc. and XYZ LLC. In this scenario, XYZ LLC paid a referral fee to ABC Incorporated, so we need to eliminate that intercompany activity. We're going to remove the sale or the revenue at ABC Incorporated's level, and we're going to eliminate the referral fee at XYZ LLC's level because when we combine both entities into one economic entity we do not want to count the activity that is happening between those two entities we only want to reflect the activity that is happening to outside parties nothing that's happening internally amongst the entities that are being consolidated so let's go back to the balance sheet because now we need to eliminate abc incorporates investment in xyz llc and we also need to eliminate XYZ LLC's equity. And what you want at the end of the day in the equity section is you just want to have the parent's equity carry forward. The reason for that is the investment in XYZ LLC on ABC Incorporated's books is equal to XYZ LLC's equity. Those two equal each other. So to eliminate the investment in XYZ LLC, you need to also eliminate XYZ LLC's equity and once you do that you're left over just with the parents equity and there's no longer an investment in subsidiary in the consolidated financials or the consolidated economic entity what we've done here in these consolidated financials is we've eliminated the intercompany activity whether that was intercompany sales intercompany expenses we also eliminated the intercompany receivable the payable, the due to and the due from, and then we also eliminated the investment in subsidiary and also the subsidiary's equity to get one consolidated economic entity.